To write the name for CRO, we first need to recognize that we have a metal and a nonmetal. So we're going to name this as an ionic compound. To do that, we'll first write the name of the metal as it appears on the periodic table. CR there, that's chromium. Then we'll write the name for the nonmetal as it appears on the periodic table. So O, that's oxygen, lowercase o. We can then replace the ending with IDE. So we cross this out, IDE. So at this point, we have chromium oxide. But chromium, that's a transition metal. So it can have different charges depending on what it's bonded to. Here, it's bonded to the oxygen. So if we look on the periodic table, we find oxygen right here. It has two minus. So when oxygen forms ions here, bonds to the chromium, two minus is the ionic charge. For this all to add up to zero, to have a net charge of zero, we have to have a two plus. So because they have this two plus ionic charge on the chromium, we write this between the chromium and the oxygen, the Roman numeral chromium two oxide. So the name for CRO is chromium two oxide. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.